And I've always been obsessed with him because he's just so gentle, loving person. Like when he would walk in a room, he'd just like bring peace into it. The first time, it's so odd to say the first time my son got in a crash with John, I was racing to the hospital and I thought, why am I driving so slow? And I realized it's because this time I knew what I was going to go through. And I wasn't in a rush to start that journey again. When you pulled into the ER, you know, back to the same hospital, did you think that it would be the same outcome with Michael? Or did you actually, you know, what were you thinking? Um, remember, I was very calm until I parked the car. And then all of a sudden, I just started screaming bloody murder when I saw the sign. Just like, and that's not like me. I'm not, I don't like lose it like that. So then I remember walking into the ICU and seeing him, the same machines, the same head bandaged, but he had more things. His leg was in a cast from there to there, and he had a tear in his aorta. So there were more things. Um, and I looked at him, and all of a sudden, I just started going down. And my cousin was standing next to me, and I remember hearing her say something like, don't do that, don't do that. But I was just like, I felt like I couldn't breathe. And then I slid another lock across that gate of my mind, and I could feel him with everything that I was going through, just that self-preservation, because I thought, I'm not gonna live through this. So I had to like lock everything down in the brain. And it was like the worst deja vu nightmare that any parent can have. And it was like still just not real to me.